Facebook's basic for hackers guys welcome to this youtube channel subscribe and like this video do it now thanks linux basic commands for hackers that's what we're talking about in this video so as a hacker you need to understand first thing you need to understand that everything about the linux machine is located here this is the basic thing you need to understand and the command that i used to get to this place the first one in the cd used to change the directory for then space four slash four slash is the directory that you are going and four slash is called root directory root directory of this machine none of them use the root directory of this machine and it is the root like the basics like the origin of every other directory in this file in this um, linux machine so if you can get here then you are in in potentially the part to all the files in this machine so that is one you need to know then if you want to move into another directory within this directory then you can just do cd and the name of the directory you want to input to we call it change directory that is enter into this directory so let's say you want to move into the sbin directory then you just put sbin now we are in the sbin directory and this as you can see are some important files first let me show you what what these directories are the sbin directory this is the directory that contains all the instructions that the root user will run where the bin directly contains all the instructions that regular users can run. I hope you understand the meaning of this directory has been. So we are not going to talk about everything because you need to know you don't need to know everything. Just know how to find your way around. That's the purpose of a Linux uh, of an admin of an hacker, sorry. Just know how to find your way around it. So that is one. Another thing that you need to know how to do as an hacker is called um to be able to get the ip address of any machine basic so just ip address show get an ip address of a linux machine the, if this is a server is the ip address to access it so one way is basically the first one is loop back and it's not a working ip address for you it's just an ip address that the system used to communicate with itself the second one usually is um will be a NAT address you can use this not routed via the internet so the common one that you see is anything that starts with 192 oftentimes or any public ip it's 192.160. any private ip in this case sorry so in this case we have this ip this ip now i can use to access this machine remotely so far this machine is connected to the internet so that is linux basics for hackers you need to understand these things especially the root directory also talking about ip there's something called mmap then if you use mmap and you pass the ip address of the machine even the host name even the host name let's say google.com but unfortunately mmap is not installed so you need to install mmap and that is another thing you need to know you need to know how to install as an hacker so in CentOS, use yum to install but in ubuntu you need yum to install but how do you know that you are on a CentOS machine or an ubuntu machine simple you use cat cat is a command used to display the content of a file so cat etc uh, etc os release tell you everything about the operating system it enter now as you can see this is sent it is red hat enterprise line similar to red hat enterprise linux and fedora and what have you so that is how i know that this is sent machine this is an rpmb so i will need yum to install a package here yum mmap continue to go to the beginning of the line if you want Sign up. I think why 
this is going to install mmap and what mmap does mmap will tell you open port on a particular server and this is huge guys in fact in some countries this is not allowed use mmap to see the available open ports on a server and from there you can troubleshoot the server you can just get into the server from the open port show you a good example now the installation is done so now let's just mmap then let's say google.com see starting starting a map is going to give you the dns of google.com and tell you the open port on this on this um, dns perfect can you see mmaps can report for google.com this is the dns domain name server then is um, going to show you can you see there's you the ports that are open port 25 is open port 80 is open port 443 is open and port 587 is open so if you have any attack to carry on you can carry them on on the spots however mind you google is not a simple organization so they know what they are doing all right that's it guys